Hello everyone, my name is Alexey, and today we'll present our work, Attention for Compositional Modularity. This is joint work with my colleagues Paolo Rodriguez, Alexander Lacoste, and Loho Shahnam. Modularity is an appealing inductive bias for achieving progress in problems such as generalization under distribution shift and continual learning. Different forms of attention have been proven useful for achieving meaningful modularity in the mixture of experts context. In this work, we concentrate on the architectural paradigm that we call compositional modularity. In compositional modularity, the network is dynamically constructed for each input sample through a sequence of module selection and application steps. Here, a single module is a simple nonlinear MLP that receives as input either raw input a sample or the output of previously applied module. While the mixture of experts paradigm is only limited to parallel subtask execution, the main advantage of compositional modularity is that it can potentially decompose a task into subtasks, where the subtasks, which are learned by the separate modules, can be executed both sequentially and in parallel. The main challenge of compositional modularity is that um, is how to learn specialized modules that represent the real underlying data generative mechanisms. Another challenge is composing modules conditioned on an input sample. Prior works have pointed out the usefulness of information bottlenecks for this task. Attention can be seen as one such bottleneck. Another one is what we call functional bottleneck. This bottleneck is achieved by restricting the input to the modules to only a subset of input variables as opposed to the complete input sample. In this work, we study whether effective compositional modularity can be achieved when key value attention is used for module selection. We also study how other information bottlenecks, such as, for example, functional bottleneck, can impact training um, of modular architectures um, in this setting. In this work, we study the domain of compositional arithmetic tasks, where the underlying uh, modules must learn to perform operations such as addition, subtraction, or multiplication. We assume that input data is presented in form of separate variables, where each variable encodes either the input digit or the operation. We'll look at four different ways of performing module selection using key value attention. In all cases, each module is endowed with a learnable signature vector that is used to produce the key for the attention, uh, the attention mechanism. Without going too much into the details, the tested baselines differ uh, from each other in how the query is produced for the, um, from the input variables. Hence, an end-to-end -end training, um, an end-to-end -end, um, modular method should be able uh, to simultaneously learn which module to select at each modular layer, as well as um, how to learn the functionality of each of the modules. Briefly, um, in our experiments, we find that modular solutions are reliably outperform monolithic model in terms of OD loss. This is in the left plot. We find that structural oracle it is the only baseline that can reliably achieve good systematic generalization as measured by this OD, OD uh, loss. Structural Oracle is a baseline in which uh, the learner has access to privileged information about which variable is relevant for module selection at each layer. The out of distribution loss here is used to, um, pro as a proxy for systematic generalization ability of the models. Uh, and it is measured on a test set that contains combinations of mathematical operations that were not seen during uh, training. To better understand why non-Oracle baselines are unable to reliably achieve systematic generalization, we evaluate uh, the modular baselines in the so-called test time Oracle setting. Here we check every possible path through the modular network during testing and report the performance of the best performing path. In this evaluation protocol, modular solutions tend to achieve low OD loss, suggesting that poor systematic generalization at test time is due, is due to suboptimal module selection. Additionally, we investigate how the number of underlying primitives, which are which is the number of opera mathematical operations in this case, as well as the number of samples per task, uh, can affect the systematic generalization ability. We also look in more detail at the role of functional bottleneck. For more details in, um, on these experiments, as well as for more technical details, please come to our poster uh, during the conference. To conclude, achieving compositional modularity is hard task even in such a simple setting as solving math equations. Only the structural oracle baseline was able to reliably achieve systematic generalization. We showed that poor performance of non-oracle solutions can be attributed to the attention-based routing failing to correctly route samples um, at test time. We also showed that information bottlenecks play an important role for module specialization and preventing collapse. All in all, we think that interesting directions for future work may include finding better bottlenecks for enabling better specialization, as well as relaxing the zero-shot test uh, 
testing assumption for uh, modular solutions. Thank you very much for your attention.